think the offline is where the programs created. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. No, and, and then, as you say, the online. But the online, we had to we had to save everything basically, or we had to make it work. To be the truth of it, what we put out had to be the finished final. Uh, it had to look spectacular as, as much as we could. With, with the, the approval of the offline. Yeah, editor. with the approval. No, always <laughs> actually. <laughs> Very rarely would the well, offline editor come into uh, yeah, us. I, mean, I don't yeah, like I to hear the word "we had to save it." No, no, that's not true. I'm being a bit, uh, bit cruel there. Well, but also, I, we'd, we'd be, you know, we'd be grading DVE um, uh, captions on top. All of these things. I know, I know. It, and I think it depends on who you work for. Yeah, exactly. The, on the online guy certainly was the skilled with the advanced equipment. With the, exactly, but we wouldn't but be creative. The company creative. I worked for didn't mm. like the Aston caption generator. Yeah. So the art department would create all the titles themselves and I'd bring it in and it'd be put under a rostrum camera oh, those are and even some of the effects uh, an effect that you can do now easily on the Avid for example mm. was a ripple a ripple between mm -hmm. one scene to another I remember holding sheets of glass <laughs> under a rostrum camera and what have you we so had the, I, you uh, know, the A57 could do those but the uh, yes is who makes the program no of course <laughs> absolutely I'm never going to argue with that know, being an know, offline editor like we would at those times in, different out. disciplines that's all at yes. that point oh, yeah. they were very different um, yeah. the, you know, these days you can do so many of those effects in Avid, yes. but then you couldn't do any of that in offline. 